welcome to our next class in last class we learned about electricity electric circuits and uh, how to make a switch artificial switch and how the switches are helpful and static electricity this all you learned and now in today's class before moving to the next topic next lesson uh, one small activity we'll do you need to observe the dumping yards or else see the pictures in net or the videos which are available how the people uh, will collect the different materials which are present in a heap of garbage at the garbage dumping yards when we see it is not so easy to collect the materials from a dumping yard so here you can see that people are using cranes at the other end of the crane they'll dip into this heap of garbage and then the materials which are made by different metals will start to this material and then they pull it back and collect the useful materials from the heap of garbage so waste management videos when we see you can observe this how the people are collecting the materials useful materials from the heap of garbage then tell me children what might be the reason why this apparatus collecting the different materials it is because of the magnet magnets which are arranged at the end of this crane or this machine have a lot of very big uh, size magnets they are arranged due to this magnetic property due to this magnet has a capacity to attract the metals different metals get attracted towards the magnet and so that we it is collecting or attracting the stick up to the refrigerator because of the magnet which is present here and to store the all pins we we'll put in the in the tin which have a magnet in the middle so that the uh, the all pins are very small in size and uh, uh, if they fall down when we drop it down by mistake and the collecting back will be a little difficult because they have a sharp edge and just like needle so if this magnetic box when we use for storing the all pins and then it will be easy for storing these pins at the same way in your compass box while closing uh, when you close it get a uh, holding by a magnet so even in the compass boxes also for opening and closing some magnets are arranged so here you need to do the activity is you observe these type of materials which are there in your home and uh, try to locate the area where the materials are actually attracting towards them and try to find out the magnets which are present in them i, I know you people enjoy a lot by playing with magnets right so the objects not only this whatever some play items your toy cars and uh, your uh, play toys also sometimes holds the magnets the magnets are present in them so you try to find out and uh, see that the location of this magnet in these given materials and if it is an old item you try to pull it out that magnet and identify the shape of that magnets so you got an idea i think so in today's class we are going to uh, discuss about the discovery of magnets how these magnets are discovered and what materials uh, we can say they are magnetic and which materials are non magnetic how to identify these all the things you are going to learn in today's class 
So first we'll see about the discovery of magnets. Long ago, 4,000 years ago, in Greece country, uh, a person, he was herding his uh, sheep on the mountains. So he went on the top and he used to hold a stick in his hand uh, to control this herd, sheep, sheep and goats. So that stick is having at the tip of his stick have an iron piece. So when he stood on the stone, suddenly his shoes, the nails in his shoes and the iron piece in his stick are stuck to this stone, are attracted. They both are stuck in this stone. Then immediately he got it out. He came down and he started digging the earth. And he found that the stone is a lodestone. And it was totally different from the other stones he felt. And he started doing some experiments with that. And that stone and the materials which were shown by the stone are different. And he said that the stone is attracting some materials towards it. So such type of materials are given a name magnetite. So the stones, the load stones, which are exhibiting the property of magnets are called as magnetites. Later, this is the magnetite picture. Outside it is black in color. So later this magnetite got a name as magnet based on the scientist discovered this. So this scientist magnets are discovered by Magnus the scientist. So magnetite is replaced by the word magnet. And the area in old Greece, Magnesia, the place is also from Magnesia. So both on the area where he found and the scientist both together uh, the name given as magnets. Now we will see, we will make an activity and you can play, you can make fun with this uh, by using some magnets. Any pieces of magnets you take and a paper cup or plastic cup you take and uh, keep this magnets in this paper cup and cover with the paper so that people can't see that the magnets are in this paper cup. Then arrange this cup to a stand. Right now you are at home so you may not have this stand. And uh, you can uh, just uh, stick to any place, any support you give, uh, so that the cup should stand straight. And out of this, use an uh, paper clips. Paper clips pins will be paper pins to hold the three, four papers together. We use paper pins. So such type of paper pin. Just bring down near to this paper cup and you can enjoy this activity like everything. This paper pin can stand in the air. Just like when it is flying, how it should be in such a way. It can stand in the air and you keep it under the plastic cup. Can you guess what's the reason? It is because of the magnet inside the glass is attracting the spin and when you show this activity when you show this trick to others uh, who don't know about uh, that you are using magnets inside they'll wonder and you can create fun so by this you are understanding you can understand that the magnets are attracting 
some materials. So the materials which are attracted by magnets, they are known as magnetic materials. Some materials are not get att attracted by the magnets. So they are known as non-magnetic materials. Then how to find out and how to say that some these materials are magnetic or these materials are non-magnetic. And even when we learn about the discovery, the stick, the tip of this uh, hand stick is also having some iron piece. That means the iron is getting attracted towards the magnet, right? Same way in his shoes, the nails in his shoes are also get stuck up by this stone. That means iron nails are also getting attracted towards this stone. Okay, so to understand and to separate the materials into magnetic and non-magnetic, you collect the materials which are available in your home, like shown in this picture, a knife, uh, a, a tablespoon, iron nail, and a paper clip, and a needle, and a glass, and a wool, leaf, bolt, eraser, and a button, shirt buttons, and a wooden piece, scissors, all this, all these materials you just collect and try to uh, take a piece of magnet and try to bring this material near to your magnet. If it is getting attracted towards magnet, that is a magnetic material. When you bring a razor near to the magnet, it won't show any attraction. So that is a non-magnetic material. So you collect the different types of materials and do this activity and write your observations in your notebook. Find out some magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials from your surroundings. Okay. So based on this activity and even based on this, First activity, we can say that iron has the capacity to attract, getting attracted towards magnet. When it is getting attracted towards magnet, it's also changing like a magnet. So iron is changing like a magnet. How it, you can understand that the iron is changing or acquiring the magnetic properties. So based on that, based on that principle, uh, we are making artificial magnets. So now we will see the different types of artificial magnets and how they are getting, how they are exhibiting the properties of magnets. So different uh, shapes of magnets we will see. Getting into like magnet. And these magnets are called artificial magnets. We'll see the different artificial magnets now. So if the magnet is in this shape, it is called as horseshoe magnet. And what is this N and S indicates North Pole and the South Pole. How they are helping to change a magnetic material into non-magnetic material, we, we are going to discuss. And if it is in this shape, it's known as bar magnet. And if the magnet is in round shape, that is called as ring magnet. And it is cylindrical shape, then it is cylindrical magnet. And this one is bar ended magnet. So the, these are the different types of magnets. In today's class, you learned about the discovery of magnets and what are the different uh, materials around us have magnets in them. So the materials which are working with the help of magnets learned and how the magnets are discovered and by which scientists they are discovered and uh, 
next you also did an activity made fun with the magnets and uh, your today's homework is find out collect some materials in your home and take a small magnet piece of magnet and try to identify magnetic materials and non magnetic materials from your surroundings make a tabular column in your homework and at least uh, five non magnetic materials and five magnetic materials do the activity and feel the attraction how the topic is uh, the material is getting attracted toward, towards magnet do that and then note down your result your observations in the notebook okay thank you children in next class we will discuss about how to change magnet non magnetic material into magnetic